Hello students. Let's study about dispersal of seed. What is dispersal? Dispersal means spreading uh, of seed from one place to another place or transfer of seed from one place to another place. That is dispersal. Dispersal is necessary uh, because if on one place only all seeds are will grow into new plants. Suppose all seeds are spreaded on the same place only. Uh, it fall down on the same place only then all seeds will grow into new tiny plants and all plants will compete with each other for growth for sunlight for nutrition for uh, air for everything okay uh, nutrients as well so uh, none of the plant will get proper nourishment for growth so due to this due to the decreasing this competition and for proper growth of a plant dispersal of seed is essential and seeds are dispersed through natural means only these are wind water animal explosion so wind how seeds are dispersed through wind the seeds which are dispersed through wind are light in weight and uh, so many seeds are having wings through wings it can be carried easily along with uh, wind uh, those are maple and drumstick seed few seeds are having hair and uh, hair can easily uh, blown away with wind those seeds are cotton and madar so in this way along with wind the seeds are carried to different places and it can be grown into new plant okay now next through water the plants which are found uh, which grows near by the water sources can be dispersed the seeds can be dispersed through water normally the seeds are having fibers because of fibers it can easily float on water and the seeds can be carried to different places along with the water current example is coconut coconut seed is having lots of fibers so that it can easily float on water and moves with water current okay next one some seeds of uh, water plants uh, are spongy due to that it can easily float on water and carried to different distant places okay so such examples are lotus and water lily next through animals so many seeds are dispersed through animals so many uh, plants so many fruits and seeds of certain plants are having hook like structure and those hooks hooks are basically spike like structure and those hooks or spikes stick with the fur of animals hair of the animals and along with the animal it can be carried from one place to another place example is zendium uh, animals not only take plants leaves of plant but also eat fruits also so those those fruits uh, they can digest but the seeds are not easily digested those seeds comes out from the uh, body of the animal those seeds can come out with the body of the animal from its fecal matter okay such seeds which come out from the fecal matter can be grown into new plant in different places okay now next through explosion explosion means bursting some seeds are a uh, light in weight and they can't bear the uh, high speed wind and after maturing after drying off they can burst due to wind or maybe some other factors after drying off they may burst and after bursting the seed comes out and scattered on a certain area those seeds are balsam castor and peach okay in this way dispersal of seed takes place uh, th uh, in uh, different places okay and so that seeds can be grown into healthy sapling now germination of seed once seeds once seeds are scattered then it's it needs to be germinated so how germination takes place look at the diagram of seed this is seed the outer cover of seed is called seed coat and inside the seed there is a tiny structure that is called embryo embryo is the future plant okay so whenever we uh, will put seed under the soil when we 
just cover the seed with soil anywhere. Then after that, after a little bit uh, irrigation, and definitely it will get sunlight and water, moisture, proper warmth. Then by getting the favorable condition, seeds germinate into tiny sapling. This embryo of seed, one little bit structure growing towards upper surface and uh, towards upper side, one towards lower, lower side. The upper side part is called plumule which germinates into stem sapling germinates from this plumule and the lower part is called radical root germinates from this radical. So in this way germination of seed takes place and new plants arise. Okay. So for uh, reproduction after all this process to get a healthy plant dispersal and germination of seed is necessary then only new generation of plant can come in this world okay now our chapter is completed if any doubt related with the chapter you can write in the comment section and i'll try to uh, give answer of your queries now you look at the screen